Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to CNC circular pocket milling video tutorial using EdgeCam. This is in fact problem 2 that is demo on use of CAM software that is EdgeCam for generation of GNDM codes for a circular pocket milling. Okay, the problem is this. Sir. See here, the problem is this and as you see here, this is the circular uh, profile and the entire material here has to be removed. This is diameter 50 and it has the entire material has to be removed in steps of 2. First it has to remove 2, next 4, next 6 in that way. I give one. Use edge cam to generate GNDM codes for a circular pocket milling component as shown below. Using an end milling cutter of diameter 6 mm for rough milling and 4 mm diameter cutter for finished milling. Centrally on a billet size of 100 by 100 into 20 workpiece. Cut increment should be 2 mm. The total depth of cut should be 6 mm. Assume feed rate to be 100 mm per minute and speed of cutter to be 1500 rpm during rough milling and feed rate of 50 mm per minute and speed of cutter to be 2000 rpm during finished milling. Assume rough milling alliance of 0.5 on both circular sides and base. Generate tool path, verify tool path and also perform 2D and 3D dynamic simulation and generate GNDM codes are the usual questions. Here, now it is, the problem is this. Sir. As I have told you, this is a circular thing. I will have initially an 80 by 80 billet and I'll have an extra stock of 10 mm so that it finally becomes 100. Okay. Now it is, since I'll initially start with the, this 80 mm uh, square uh, billet. Then I'll have a stock of 10 mm on all the sides so that it becomes 100 into 100 into 20. Okay. Anyway, this, as you know here, as you know here, this is first 80 by 80 I'll create and then I'll create this uh, 50 mm diameter circle and I start removing the material in installments of 2, 2, 2 in that way. Okay. But during roughing, it will stop at 5.5 on the base and also on the sides. During finish only, that 0.5 will be removed. That means 5.5 will become 6 and this 49 diameter will become 50. Okay. Now I'll, what I'll do is, I'll uh, show this demo using edge cam now. Okay. Now as usual, File new you do, file new you do, and options XY environment it is correct. Don't change that. Now you go for polyline, polyline, and go for coordinate input, coordinate input. First you give zero zero. You just say continue. That is the first time. Then eighty zero you do. Eighty zero you do. Continue. This is eighty zero. Then at this point, it is 80, 80, 80, 80 to continue. Okay, then it is 0, 80, 0, 80. That means this point, 0, 80, that you do. That, okay, continue. Then come back to the original point, that is 0, 0 only. That means all coordinates have been calculated with common origin. That is why we have retained absolute units only. Okay. Then you just say, okay, this has been done. This is 80 by 80. Okay, now we'll create one circular pocket. Not that circle we'll create here. Then you have a point command here. Point you go, click on XYZ coordinate input. Okay, then that is, this is 40, 40 means center means you take 40, 40 here. 40 and 40 you take. Just say, okay, that means you've got one center here at 40 and 40. 40 here, 40 here, center. Then you go for the radius arc and here you give 0 to 360 because I want a complete circle and the radius should be 25 or the diameter should be 50. Just say OK. I'll click on this. You see here? You got the circle. OK. Now once you've done this, OK, what I suggest is you give the thickness now. Go for the project and your thickness is minus 20 you give give minus 20, click on OK and click and double click on this profile. OK, then right button you do and if you go for isometric here and you will know very well it has become, OK, this has become 80 by 80 by 20, OK, but circular pocket is 50, that is circular is 50 only, that we do. But since it is 80 by 80, but the problem given is the billet size is for fixing purposes and all that, they say it should be 100 by 100. That is why now I give extra stock. Geometry, 
stock fixture I go, I'll give 10 X minimum, X maximum 10, Y minimum, Y maximum 10 and 10, automatic stock, shape box only you take, just say okay. Then extra material has come. If you look from the top view, you will know, see here, this already 80 plus 10 plus 10, 100. It is already 80 plus 10 plus 10. In that way, 100 mm it has got. Now it is proper in all respect. Now once you have done up till here, okay, I have gone to isometric. Now it is all proper. All distances, this is user coordinate system. From this only, it calculates all the distances for getting the circular pocket, okay. From this origin, it calculates the all distances for this circular pocket to be finished. Okay. Now, what we do is, now the design process is over. Now, I'll go for the manufacturing phase. I'll go for manufacturing. I'll go for Fanuc 3x.mcp. I'll just say, okay. Now, I'm going from design phase to manufacturing phase. Okay. Now, I'll go for tooling. Milling cutter, see here, have said during rough milling, diameter should be 6 mm. Just say diameter, don't change any other thing. Just say okay. Okay, that milling cutter of diameter 6 has come. Now, carefully you go here. Operations, roughing you take. Operations, roughing. I see carefully, this, you double click on this profile. Then right button, right button. Okay, once you do the right button, Percentage step over that is overlap is 50. Don't change anything. Offset is 0.5. Is here 0.5 on the sides uh, on the sides and 0.5 on the base. You, if you make 0.1, it will be 0.1. Okay, but the problem given is 0.5. That's they are given. That is why you take 0.5 and 0.5. Here, this is very important. Okay, tooling you take and roughing. I have told it is 100. Feed rate is 100 millimeter per minute. You take the same thing and speed during roughing is 1500. I have said you take the same thing. Plunge uh, feed rate, that is, feed rate in the Z direction is 20. I just assume because I'm not given, you take anything, but 20 is enough. And don't change any other thing. And come to the depth. Here, be careful. Okay. I have given not 10, the total depth of cut. Total depth of cut is 6 I have given. You take minus 6. And cut increment 2. That means cut increment of 2 you take. This you say, okay. Okay, once you do this, if you tilt this, you can clearly say here, okay, you can clearly say here, see here, 1 is 2, 4 and 5.5, okay, because final is 5.5 because the third one is, uh, it, it is roughing, no, first it does 2, next it does 4, next is 5.5 and 5.5 to 0.5 is finishing and that is the thing what I have uh, shown. Okay, this is very important. Please observe. Then I'll go, I'll go to the isometric only. Okay, I'll just reduce the uh, size by clay that is rotating the middle button. Okay, now once you do this, I'll go for tooling, milling cutter, and then I'll say 4 for finishing. For 4 for finishing. Okay, because they're given in the problem. For finishing, it is only 4. Okay, say that milling cutter has come. Then operations you go. Flatland finishing you take. Very important for finishing. That is finishing on the base as well as sides. Should be flatland finishing you should say. See here the depth right now will be 5.5. 5.5 to 6 will be removed during finishing. And the diameter is actually 49. 49 to 50. That is using 0.5. Okay. Once it rotates around this. That 5.5 to. That is, 5, that is 50 is the diameter. It will be actually 49. Okay. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 will be removed. So that 49 will become 50 during finishing. Okay. This is a flat line finishing you take. And click on this. Okay. And press the right button. Right button again. Don't change anything. Percentage step over 10. All you retain as it is. Okay. It's finished. This, is, this is finishing. Tooling. And feed rate is 50 I have given. Let it be that. Speed is 2000. Let it be there. Diameter is 4. That is already given. It is correct. And then you be careful here. This is minus 6 during. That means the clearance is 5. It is after finishing. It will go by above is 5. Okay. That is depth is minus 6 means it directly 5.5 to 6. 5.5 to 6 is done during finishing. Okay. Then you would say okay. Okay. Now you carefully 6 see here. 
this is carefully seen. Okay, that is 2, 4, then 5.5 and this finishing is 6. Okay, this is very important. I'm telling you again, see here, you can clearly see first 2 mm, then 4 mm, then 5.5, then this, uh, this color, color has changed, the pink, that is another 0.5 is removed during finishing. Okay, now I'll, what I'll do is, see here, I'll go to the isometric, I'll, that is, I'll bring it back to the normal C. Okay. Now, the simulation has to be done. Okay. Now, once the simulation has to be done, you simulate machining, you give. Simulate machining, you give. Take some time. Okay. Now, you just give this. Okay. Now, uh, reduce the speed of control. Then, you simulate this by pressing this button. Okay. See here. Now, it is doing beautifully. You see here. This is minus 2, minus 2, I can slightly increase the speed, minus 2, this is minus 4 you see, minus 4 it is doing, minus 4 it is doing, then it is doing minus 6, please carefully follow, this is minus 6 it is doing, okay, then you see here, the finishing is only 0.5. This you have to carefully understand. This is only 0.5 which is doing the finishing and 0.5 will be done so that it will be 5.5 to 6 and also it will do on the sides also so that 49 will become 50. Okay. I can increase the speed here. Okay, now everything has been done. Okay, now what you do is, if you do this, you will go back this. If you do this, you will get, again get back the same thing. Okay, now if you do again, if you click on this, okay, if you click on this, again you can do the simulation. Okay, in that way, now whatever we have done is correct till now. Now what you do, I will come out of this. Now you see here, this simulation mode, this is in 2D is also very important here. That is simulation mode 2D if you take. If you give 500 oh, so simulation speed, you can uh, see this. You can see here. You can tracking also. It will be 5.5. You see here. Keep volume. Look at 5.5. Okay, 5.5. It is done. And now during finishing, it will become six. Everything is proper now. Okay, 5.5. Then now it is doing the finish. It is minus six. It will be in that way. It is doing the entire thing. Entire procedure is proper. And this you are supposed to show it to the examiner and all that. And he will ask you the final aspects. These things you have to tell. Okay. Then once you have done all this. Okay. Once you have done all this. See here. On the sides also it will do. Now it is over. Now you see. You save this file. File. Save as. Save as circular pocket. Okay, circular pocket, you say, save it as a circular pocket. It has come here. Now, what you do is, now you go for generation code. This is very important. This is generate code. Just say, okay. Then all the programmers name, everything, you take the default values, you just go on clicking. Now you get the codes. Okay. This is very important to us because you have not written the program. So many lines it has created. As you see here, so many lines it has created. Okay. As you know, it is almost 111 lines. 1096, 1097 in this way. 1110. Okay. So many lines it has been created. That's why for such complex programs and all that, we do depend on this uh, CNC uh, that is uh, uh, CNC CAM software like Edge CAM. So that this entire program, we copy it and paste it onto the CNC machine and run that so that the circular pocketing is directly obtained. Okay. Now we have come to the end of this session where a circular pocketing of diameter 50 has been done. Okay. Thank you very much for viewing. Thanks, friend. Thank you.